Polygonal 3D models are made up of points. A point is defined by its position in a space. We almost always use a 3D Cartesian coordinate system for these spaces, and you might remember those from algebra class. Three orthogonal number lines labeled X, Y, and Z. Any point has a location defined by its position on the X axis, a location on the Y axis, and a location on the Z axis. Conceptually, a point is just that, a point. It does not have a volume and it would not be visible on its own in any normal render. When two points are connected, we call that an edge. You connect three or more points together and that can form a face. Faces can be made up with three sides called a tri, four sides called a quad, or other. Five or more sides is simply called an n-gon and we generally try to avoid them in modeling. Faces also have an orientation. One side is defined as being the front and the other side is defined as being the back. See the video on face orientation for more information about that. A collection of vertices, edges, and faces is called a mesh. Generally, a mesh is a single enclosed outer shell of a shape made up of connected faces. As far as the various graphic systems are concerned, however, a mesh is just any geometry. If we had all points but no edges or faces, that would be called a point cloud, and it is still a mesh as far as the systems involved are concerned. There is no technical requirement that a mesh be a fully enclosed shell or that all parts of the mesh must be touching. A 3D model can be made up of multiple meshes. Models generally refer to one or more meshes, plus all of the other data that makes up the model, data like material information, camera and light information, various texture maps, skeleton rigs, animation, and more. Sometimes this additional information is stored in separate files, and sometimes it can be stored inside of one file, depending on the file type or rendering engine being used. It's important to note that what we might think of as a single 3D model could be made up of multiple files on our hard drive. A single model refers to all of the elements that compose it, including one or more meshes, and those meshes are the actual shape data. In addition to the vertices and faces of a mesh, we have other pieces of information that get stored inside of each mesh usually per vertex or per face. Some common pieces of mesh data are material assignments, UV coordinates, also called texture coordinates, vertex normals, vertex groups, and vertex colors. What these pieces of data are used for will mostly be covered elsewhere, but I will go over material assignment in this video as it's one of the most common pieces of mesh data and it can explain how additional mesh data works when it comes to 3D models. Not all software supports all of the features or pieces of data that a mesh can have, but if the model has information that isn't supported, most tools can ignore it without issue. Think of it like adding additional columns to a spreadsheet. Some software may or may not use all of the columns, but it can still correctly understand and display the 3D model from the columns that it can read. For example, Unity's default material shader does not support vertex colors. 3D model formats are largely convertible between different file types, which is nice, but we want to be sure we aren't accidentally deleting data by converting it to a format that doesn't support some kind of mesh data. You probably only need to actually worry about this when it comes to animation. Let's look at the simplest piece of mesh data, material index, also called the material assignment. In the mesh, we assign each face an additional number which represents what material should be used to render that face. The spreadsheet analogy from before is extremely appropriate. In fact, Blender has a spreadsheet view which lets me look at all of the various pieces of mesh data that I have in rows and columns. I can look at the list of all of my faces and I can see the material index here is just some number, zero. If I make another material and assign some faces to it, we can see that these faces have a new material index value, one. Let me make a new material and replace the old one. The material data isn't saved with the mesh. The mesh just saves the value that tells it what material to use. So with this, we just also need some mapping that tells us how to go from these numbers to some actual materials. What's great about this system is that it lets us easily move between 3D engines. Different rendering engines can use different systems for representing and working with materials under the hood. Basically, we can't bring materials between engines very easily. Further, we want to be able to share a material across 3D models. Luckily, the material assignment information lives with the mesh and the materials themselves can live elsewhere. I just need to create matching materials in my new engine and assign them to the appropriate slots. 
Here I've imported my model from Blender into Unity, and you can see that it attempted to bring these materials in automatically, and it seemingly has not done a very good job. Let's turn off the automatic material importing in the import settings. Now it looks like our model doesn't have any materials, but the mesh data still saves those material index values. It still has the material assignment. If we go to the mesh renderer for the object, sure enough, we have these two slots, and we just need to make our own materials and assign them here. When moving a model between different engines, like from Blender to Unity, we often need to remake the materials from scratch. It's just something to keep in mind. To conclude, a model is made up of one or more meshes, plus other information like animation data. Meshes are made up of vertices, which connected together form faces. Two connected vertices form what we call an edge. Vertices, edges, and faces can have additional data that's saved with them. Faces may save what material it should use, and a vertex can have a texture coordinate position, for example. This data is saved with the mesh and will generally move between rendering engines easily.